I know the one whom I have believed, and I am sure that he, the just judge, the mighty, will keep safe what is my due until that day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Send to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Lord, You're seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God, who taught the whole world through the preaching of the blessed Apostle Paul, draw us, we pray, nearer to you through the example of him whose conversion we celebrate today, and so make us witnesses to your truth in the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul spoke to the people in Jerusalem. I am a Jew born in Tarsus in Cilicia, but brought up in the city at the feet of Gamaliel, educated strictly according to our ancestor law, being zealous for God just as all of you are today. I persecuted this, this way up to the point of death by binding both men and women and putting them in prison, as the high priest and the whole council of elders can testify about me. From them, I also received letters to the brothers in Damascus, and I went there in order to bind those who were there and to bring them back to Jerusalem for punishment. While I was on my way in approaching Damascus, about noon a great light from heaven suddenly shone about me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Soul, soul, why are you persecuting me? I answered, Who are you, Lord? Then he said to me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom you are persecuting. Now those, were who, now those who were with me saw the light, but did not hear the voice of the one who was speaking to me. I asked, What am I to do, Lord? The Lord said to me, Get up and go to Damascus. 
there you will be told everything that has been assigned to do to you to do since i could not see because of the brightness of that light those who were with me took me took me by hand and led me to damascus a certain ananias who was a devout man according to the law and well spoken of all by the Jews living there came to me and standing beside me he said brother soul regain your sight in that very hour i regained my sight and saw him then ananias said the god of, of our ancestors has chosen you to know his will to see the righteous one and to hear his own voice for you will be his witness to all the world of all you have been said and heard and now why do you delay get up be baptized and have your sins washed away calling on his name the word of the lord thanks be to god responsorial psalm let our response be go out to all the world and tell the good news Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Extol all you, all you peoples. Response. Go to all the world and tell the good news. For great is his steadfast love toward us. The faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Response. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus said to the eleven, Go into all the world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation. The one who believes and is baptized will be saved, but the one who does not believe will be condemned. And these are the signs that will accompany those who believe. By using my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick, and they will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, uh, we celebrate one of the most um, kind of stark uh, conversions in, in the church, that someone who was an angry persecutor uh, turned into the most zealous promoter of the faith. And it has happened that people have made conversions uh, like this before, but kind of nothing like this uh, Nothing like this has ever happened that uh, we see someone make such a drastic change as St. Paul does. He was basically on his way to lock up Christians, and he was converted, and he went back and started preaching the Christian message right after his baptism. Absolutely uh, amazing, you know, the power of God. And uh, we see that Paul endures all kinds of things now for the gospel. If you look at Paul's curriculum, uh, Vitae, it was, you know, twice I, I've been 
uh, in prison. I've been in prison many times. I've suffered shipwreck. I've been stoned. I was twice stoned by people unsuccessfully. Um, he endured all kinds of things. He said, you know, many nights uh, enduring shipwreck. Uh, in, in Malta, he was uh, bitten by a poisonous snake and uh, didn't hurt him. But we just we see this this great work of God working in our lives, and I'm sure Paul would would always say, and he does actually say, you know, it's not me, but it's the grace of God working in me. And so, uh, so Paul was able to say at the end of his life, the grace of God in my life has not been in vain. The grace of God has not been in vain in my life. And I was thinking, you know. How are we using this grace that's being offered to us? The same grace that was given to Paul to, to evangelize, to, to bring forth the good news, to endure all those things, is available to us today. You know, we must pray that our hearts are, are once again turned fully to God so that we too want to share this message of Christ to the world because Christ is the only solution to this world. Christ is the only solution to all the things that are going on in this world. We may hope for some sort of political change, all these kind of things. This, No, it's not going to change anything in any great way. Only Christ is the solution to what's going on in the world. Uh, the world is too far gone. It always has been too far gone. It needs Christ, and it needs zealous promoters of the gospel. Brothers and sisters, gathered as one to celebrate the good things we have received from our God, let us ask him to prompt in us prayers that are worthy of his hearing. We pray for our Holy Father Francis, for Pope Emeritus Benedict, for our Bishop Joseph, for their health, intentions, and constant growth in faith, hope, and charity. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, we pray for the grace to have our hearts fully in your care. And we have a great zeal and, and love for the Holy Gospel and to proclaim the message of salvation, of healing, of mercy to the entire world. For this we pray to the Lord. Oh, yeah. Lord, we pray for the grace to see that you are the only solution to our world. For this we pray to the Lord. Oh, yeah. We pray for the sick and the dying, those who will die today those in most need of your mercy. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for those whose patronal feast day it is today, especially uh, Father Paul, my brother-in-law uh, Paul, that God may give them the special graces of their patron. For this we pray to the Lord. 
we offer up this way in a special, uh, this mass in a special way for the happy repose of the soul of Lynn, man love, that God may grant her the graces she needs for eternal salvation and send peace and comfort to her family. For this we pray to the Lord. In a moment of silence, we offer up our own prayers and petitions. pray to the Lord. Lord we, we pray for all those who are taking away our religious freedoms, especially the religious freedom to assemble for mass and, and sacraments. We pray for the conversion of their hearts that our religious freedoms may be restored to us. We also pray for those who are working to destroy our freedom of speech for their conversion. For this we pray to the Lord. May the, and we pray for all the holy souls in purgatory, and we ask them to join us with the saints and angels in heaven, especially St. Joseph, our blessed mother, St. Paul, to pray for more vocations to the priesthood, to the consecrated life and the holy matrimony, to preserve all those in their vocations and assist us in our universal call to holiness. For this we pray to the Lord. May the petitions of your church be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own merit. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Spirit fill us with that light of faith, which wit, with which he constantly enlightened the blessed, the blessed Apostle Paul for glory. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed Apostle, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead in the name of your Son, and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin 
and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
I live by faith in the Son of God who has loved me and has given himself up for me. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which the blessed apostle Paul burned ardently as he bore his concern for all the churches through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.